All right, so here we are in Spine. Now, once you open up Spine, it's going to open up this character by default. And this is just a simple project that Spine has set up for you, for you to experiment with. So I recommend that you actually do experiment with this so you can start to understand how Spine works and how the bone structures work. So you'll see here, if we go ahead and select this yellow bone right here, and we click it, now it has that selected and we can go ahead and click on this little arrow right here on this red circle and we can go ahead and rotate the head like so. We can even drag our mouse clear out here to rotate it from there. As long as you don't let go, you can rotate it from anywhere. Um, we can also grab another bone. So if we grab this leg bone right here and we click on that little arrow, now you see we can rotate that leg. We can even rotate all the way down to the foot. And so this is basically how Spine works. Now, obviously, if you import your artwork into here, it's not going to automatically have these bones. You need to actually add these bones in, which can get a little bit complicated, but I'm going to break down the system in a way that's really easy to understand, and you can do it step by step. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and import our character. So the way you do this is you need to come up to where it says Spine in the top left corner, Go ahead and click that. Then you're going to come down to where it says import data. Go ahead and click that. And now you're gonna go ahead and browse for your JSON file. That's the script that we saved out from Photoshop. So we'll hit browse. And right now it's going to the folders that it was last using, which was Spine Boy, the boy character that we had in Spine. So we need to actually find our Photoshop file. So your JSON file will be saved to wherever that Photoshop file was saved. So I'm gonna go into my pictures. And then I just went straight to my Udemy spine course because I didn't want you to see all the folders in my computer. But once you get to your folder, you'll see we have our JSON and we have our image folder. So you wanna select the JSON file, then go ahead and hit open. Then you're gonna go ahead and name your skeleton name. So for me, I'm just going to call it robot character and I'll get rid of this for spine. You want it to be to a scale of one and a new project. Hit okay and you can go ahead and discard changes because you don't really care about that character really. And now you'll see that your character is somewhat imported in here. You can tell that the structure of your character is there and each individual file is there, but there's actually no image in each file space. So what you need to do is you need to come into your images by coming over here into your hierarchy. And we'll go over what the hierarchy is in the next lecture, but for now, just go over here to the hierarchy where it says images, select that, then you're, then you're gonna come down to the bottom where it says images slash, and you wanna go ahead and come over here to where it says browse. Once you get here, you're gonna go ahead and come back into your spine folder, and then you're gonna come to your image folder. Now you're not going to open it, you just wanna click it, and then select folder. And once you do that, it'll import all those images and attach them to the position. And now you'll see that you have your character in spine and everything's in the correct position and on its own layer. You can hover your mouse over everything and it'll cut it out one piece at a time so you can tell where everything is. You can even tell where that back arm is, that back elbow, this back thigh, so it can see through everything. But that's why we wanted to split these up into two legs that are in different positions so you can kind of tell the difference between the two because if they're in the same position you would never know if you're on the back one or the front one. All right, that brings us to the end of this lecture. So in this lecture, you got a little taste of how spine bones work, and then you also learned how to import your character in the spine and also import the images so they're in the correct position and in the correct order. Thanks for watching this lecture, and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one.